Detroit Lions fans know all the bad numbers. One playoff victory since 1957. Zero division titles since 1993. And Matt Millen's parting opus, the 0-16 season from 2008. You know how it feels to have rooted for the Honolulu Blue and Silver in those games. Imagine if you were betting on them. Well, as it turns out, betting on the Lions has not been nearly as bad as watching them. As you are painfully aware, the Lions have stumbled to a 110, 209, and 1 mark since Millen took over the team in 2001, and I know you've watched all those games. That's only three games better than the Cleveland Browns, the standard bearer for bad football this century, and fellow member of the proud 0-16 club. Not to throw salt in the wound, but by the way, while Detroit went 110-209-1 overall in that time, the New England Patriots went 239-81, going 30-11 in the playoffs, while Detroit is 0-3. But those 0-16 seasons for Detroit and Cleveland also show something else interesting. While Cleveland quote-unquote accomplished 0-16 in 2017, the Browns went 4-12 against the spread. They were just four games in there where the Browns outdid their low expectations. In 2008, when the Lions went 0-16, they were actually 6-9-1 against the spread. In six games, that's right, the Lions actually outpaced oddsmakers' expectations and then met them another time, all while losing every single game. Congrats, Matt Millen. Now, to be fair, Millen is definitely not responsible for all of the mess since he was hired in 2001. In fact, he was actually a fired a few games into the 2008 season, so you can't put 0-16 on him 100% of the way. And, as it turned out, Lions betters can actually thank Millen for some of their wins. Just like in 2008, this era has been full of times that the expectations have been so low the Lions have actually surpassed them and covered the spread. Even though only Cleveland is worse outright than Detroit since 2001, three other franchises have worse records than Detroit against the spread in that time, in addition to the Browns. That would be the Oakland and Las Vegas Raiders, the Tennessee Titans, and the St. Louis-turned-Los Angeles Rams. Yes, that's Matthew Stafford's new team. Of course, all those teams have been to at least one Super Bowl this century, so Lions fans would definitely take a trade-off of a few more spread losses and be in their positions. All of this to say, despite being often better than the low bar of expectations they set for themselves, no, the Lions have still not been a smart bet this century. With a 144-167-9 and nine record against the spread, a better wagering on Detroit every regular season game since 2001 is 23 units in the hole. Add in two playoff spread losses to the New Orleans Saints and Seattle Seahawks and a cover of the 6.5 point spread in the 2015 playoff loss at Dallas and Detroit is 24 units down since Matt Millen was hired. Just another reason to make sure your gambling units are always reasonably sized or in Lions betting case, hopefully more on the lower end. For PlayMichigan.com, this is Matt Shook.